The E-3 Sentry is an American airborne early warning and control aircraft developed by Boeing. E-3 are commonly known as Airborne Warning and Control System, or AWACS. Derived from the Boeing 707 airliner, the aircraft provides an accurate, real-time picture of the battle space to the Joint Air Operations Center. AWACS provides situational awareness of friendly, neutral, and hostile activity, command and control of an area of responsibility, battle management of theater forces, all altitude and all weather surveillance of the battle space, and early warning of enemy actions during joint, allied, and coalition operations. History and Background In 1963, the United States Air Force asked for proposals for an airborne warning and control system to replace its EC-121 warning stars, which had served in the airborne early warning role for over a decade. The new aircraft would take advantage of improvements in radar technology and computer-aided radar data analysis and data reduction. After issuing preliminary development contracts to three companies, the United States Air Force picked Boeing to construct two airframes to test Westinghouse Electric and Hughes's competing radars. Both radars used pulse Doppler technology and then Westinghouse's design emerging as the contract winner. Engineering, test, and evaluation began on the first E-3 Sentry in October 1975. The first USAF E-3 was delivered in March 1977, and between 1977 and 1992, a total of 68 E-3s were built. 18 were also purchased by NATO, 7 by the United Kingdom, 4 by France, and 5 by Saudi Arabia. Design, Features, and Capabilities the aircraft is 46.6 meters long, 4.5 meters wide, has a 44 meters wingspan. The E-3 Sentry is a modified Boeing 707 commercial airframe with a rotating radar dome. The dome is 30 feet in diameter, 6 feet thick, and is held 11 feet above the fuselage by two struts. It contains a radar subsystem that permits surveillance from the Earth's surface up into the stratosphere. The radar has a range of more than 250 miles or 375 kilometers. The radar combined with an identification friend or foe system that can look down to detect, identify, and track enemy and friendly low-flying aircraft by eliminating ground clutter returns that confuse other radar systems. E3 has four flight crew, including two pilots, one navigator, one flight engineer, and 13 to 18 AWACS officers and crew. Signal and data processing is carried out on a high-speed powerful IBM 4PICC-1 computer. The aircraft is also equipped with 14 command and control consoles fitted with high-resolution color displays. Major subsystems in the E3 are avionics, navigation, communications, sensors, and identification tools. The mission suite includes consoles that display computer processed data in graphic and tabular format on video screens. Mission crew members perform surveillance, identification, weapons control, battle management, and communications functions. They can detect low flying targets within 350 kilometers and higher flying targets another 120 kilometers beyond that. The radar and computer subsystems on the E3 Sentry can gather and present broad and detailed battlefield information. This includes position and tracking information on enemy aircraft and ships, and location and status of friendly aircraft and naval vessels. The information can be sent to major command and control centers in rear areas or aboard ships. In time of crisis, this data can also be forwarded to the President and Secretary of Defense. As an air defense system, E-3s can detect, identify, and track airborne enemy forces far from the boundaries of the United States or NATO countries. It can direct fighter interceptor aircraft to these enemy targets. Experience has proven that the E-3 Sentry can respond quickly and effectively to a crisis and support worldwide military deployment operations. With its mobility as an airborne warning and control system, the Sentry has a greater chance of surviving in warfare than a fixed, ground-based radar system. Among other things, the Sentry's flight path can quickly be changed according to mission and survival requirements. 
the E3 can fly a mission profile approximately 8 hours without refueling. Its range and on-station time can be increased through in-flight refueling and the use of an onboard crew rest area. One AWACS can surveil an area the size of Poland. Three can cover all of Central Europe. Engine and Performance The USA and NATO E3 AWACS are powered by four Pratt & Whitney TF-33 PW100 turbofan, 21,500 pounds thrust jet engines mounted in pods under the wings. And the E3 AWACS aircraft for Saudi Arabia, UK and France are powered by four CFM International CFM-56 turbofan engines developing 24,000 pounds thrust. The higher power CFM-56 engines allow aircraft operation at higher altitudes, extending the horizon for radar surveillance. The fuel tanks in the wings have a capacity of 9,500 liters, which give an unrefueled range of more than 9,250 kilometers and a flight endurance of 11 hours. The E-3 has become the eyes and battle manager for virtually all Air Force combat operations. Its actual value can be measured in flying hours. The venerable B-52 bomber and KC-135 tanker are both nearly twice the age of the AWACS in calendar years. Yet today's B-52 and KC-135 airframes have logged fewer flight hours, on average, than AWACS airframes. Over the last 30 years, AWACS has exemplified combat excellence, partnership, and innovation. During the next 30 years, it is expected to continue leading the way in global vigilance, global reach, and global power. Improvements will continue to be made. The Air Force wants eventually to combine the functions of AWACS and Joint Stars on a single platform, most likely on a new satellite of some kind. But such capability is still years away. Until then, the E-3 AWACS, conceived in the 1960s, built with 1970s technology, combat proven in the 1990s, and undergoing updates with 21st century systems, will remain the preeminent radar and command and control aircraft in the force. Without a doubt, it is one of the best special aircraft in history.